first picked this project, we were given this PLC and said, show its capabilities. So we were discussing and researching ideas. We came up with a few, and this was the one that we really liked. We knew that the product was capable of um, converting signals into physical movements, and using combining hardware and software, having those integrated together, uh, we, we assumed that we would be able to make something that could solve the Rubik's Cube from uh, a random scrambled position and convert that into all the movements necessary to have us solve the cube. We made this from scratch. Uh, we started off with uh, design in SolidWorks. We took everything and we converted the, every piece into a, uh, a drawing which we then imported onto a water jet. So every solid piece of aluminum was water jetted. So we got to learn some pretty cool techniques on how to use the water jet. There's also certain pieces that we had to make from scratch that weren't cut out on the water jet. Some of the stainless steel pieces that are really used when we're in this ram. We had uh, some tight tolerances we, for some bearings that we had to install. So this whole stepper that moves up and down has these linear bearings. bearings. <laughs> And uh, those had to be like really tightly machined, so that was a difficult challenge. It was really cool to get a nice mechanical aspect. I learned a lot about machining and processing the raw materials. Compared to what my friends at other colleges are doing, this is really unique. They don't really get the hands-on experience. They more have a theoretical concept, and the hands-on, I feel, is really good to solidify your knowledge.